the company started, I started actually the company when I was in high school, somewhere around 2003 ish is when the company was sort of started. We started as a, an apparel company. And then as uh, time went on, we got into doing leather work and now leather is, is sort of the backbone of what we do. I've always had a fascination working with leather. I love the timelessness, the quality of it, um, the sustainability of it. My grandfather and my mother used to do a little bit of leather work. So I had some pretty basic tools that we just used to, you know, use as a, as a hobby and, and kind of make little things, um, that wasn't part of the brand. And I just fell in love with the craft, the kind of the philosophy of what we do, we, we try to design things that are kind of like heirloom quality. So we use a little bit thicker leathers than most companies. Uh, it starts from a basic drawing and then we work um, with some local fabricators and farmers, Hutterites here in making specific tools. So a lot of the process is, is pretty grassroots all done here. Most of which is in the shop that we're sitting in and um, some of the tools and stuff are designed in and around Southern Alberta and mostly in Lethbridge. When I first started, essentially we had some really basic tools, an X-Acto knife and a little hand sewing owl. And, and then over time we developed or found different machines and equipment to make those processes easier or quicker or better, you know? So, but a lot of our equipment we use are still very, still very hands-on, very analog. Um, you know, we just find that's just the best way for us to kind of control what we do. If we're going to do any sort of partnerships, collaborations, whatever, our first initial things is to look within our own community, within our own backyard. Some of the manufacturing that we've done, you know, we'll look within Lethbridge and surrounding area. Um, obviously sometimes we've found limitations and we've just had to look outside that, but our very first is to try to kind of keep it one as local as we can Two to work with very like-minded individuals. So for us, it's it's more about the value that we will get from working with these people and the value that we can share with our customers eventually. So I get really excited about people sharing their passions and doing what they do. So if we can be also part of that, that also fuels me and my inspiration to do what I do. So one of our good friends opened up his own print shop, you know, and it just made sense that all of our clothes are gonna be printed through him. and. The other thing with that too is is just even having the control. So being local and, and not maybe sourcing things like we for sure could source and have a, a, a place overseas make a belt for us. We know this, but that's just not the point for us. You know, so it's, it's about the story. It's about the people that are involved from design to who we buy from or hardware, um, you know, the people that shoot the photos or the, you know, every aspect it, it's, it's part of, the recipe of what we do. To be totally honest, I, th I think this is one of the most beautiful places in the world, our corner of the world in Southern Alberta, where we have the Rockies and the prairies. And there's just, it's hard to really explain unless you're really from the prairies, but it has like this really prairie vibe and, and the culture around farming, ranching, and just some of these kind of old school values with the people from the prairies. I mean, you can, you can kind of feel it when, when you meet someone from the prairie, especially when you're from somewhere else. So for us, we're very prideful of this corner of the world. Um, a lot of our designs, our, our t-shirt and some of our apparel graphics, we try to share that. I mean, we've established some roots here, but I, I don't know if there's any other place I'd rather be, you know? I mean, there's lots of other beautiful places, of course, but um, I just really love the values that the, the people of the prairies and where we're from have and share, and I'm just grateful to be here.